through this real quick, just to check our answers. The main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that we're going to want to do is isolate the square root. All right? So the main important thing we always want to do is isolate the square root. So now I have the square root of 4x minus 1 equals positive 5. Now, to undo squaring, we're simply going to, or undo the square root, we are going to square both sides. By squaring both sides, I'm left with 4x minus 1 equals 25. Now, when I go ahead and solve, I'm going to add 1. Add 1. I get 4x equals 26. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. x equals, now I'm going to redo this. You could keep it as a decimal. I'm going to show you, though. Um, I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to leave it as uh, 26 over 4. Yes, that is 6.5. But the reason why I like leaving it as a fraction, and I'm not even going to reduce it, is because when you guys are going back and checking your answer, it's going to be very helpful to have it as a fraction. I'll show you why. Because what happens when I multiply 4 times 26 over 4? The 4's divide out, and I'm left with the square root of 26 minus 1 minus 5 equals 0. If you would have done 6.5, you would have got the same answer. To me, it's just not visually as easy to see that it gives you um, 26. Then 26 minus, five, or 26 minus 1 is 25. The square root of 25 minus 5 equals 0. So the answer works. But I, okay. did, I got the same thing even if I did 6.5. I know, I know. I'm not saying 6.5 is wrong. 